If you watch VTubers, you would know that every VTuber has some sort of mental illness. So it's kind of safe to say that mental illness directly relates to success in VTubing. If you ever plan on becoming a VTuber, you should pick at least one of these to start with. Not all illnesses are created equal, so I'm going to tell you the top 5 mental illnesses that are the most optimal for VTubing. Number 5, Schizophrenia. This one's a really fun one. These guys are just natural born streamers because they were basically born with a Twitch chat in their heads. Talking to themselves and forming crazy narratives is just another day for them. And that makes them really interesting to watch. That's why they make them out of gold! Do you know what gold represents? The Illuminati! As you wouldn't usually find that kind of behavior outside of a mental asylum. Number four, British. I love the permanent sarcasm that they have. Like the funny fake accent they always do. It's like they're always sarcastically speaking American. When they're talking, they say funny shit like, oh, boo, whoa, in it. <laughs> or they make up weird fucking nicknames for normal words. Like, like you know how they say lolly instead of lollipop? Or, or like zebra, zebra crossing instead of, instead of crosswalk? It just never gets old listening to them yap. Number three, ADHD. Literally, I mean, literally, literally every other VTuber I see has this shit. I really don't even need to list specific examples. ADHD is like a superpower that makes them able to focus on doing stuff that their parents don't approve of. The downside is that they might have the occasional guilt of having misplaced energy that's causing their lives to fall apart. Is this too real? Anyway, the great thing is people with ADHD have their brains running nonstop. And for the viewers, it's kind of like listening to a more grounded schizophrenic. Number two, social anxiety. While ADHD is huge in VTubing, social anxiety is arguably bigger. See, if someone has social anxiety, they can concentrate on creating content because they'll save a lot of time by not having a social life. And they're good at talking to themselves. But unlike schizos, they're less likely to scare people off because they probably choose more socially acceptable topics to talk about, which is more relatable to the average person. And Number one, a body dysmorphia. Sorry, I'm biased. I know I'm the only fucking one here, but I'm gonna put this on number one because it's actually so overpowered if you manage to develop it. See, this is what keeps me unsatisfied with my life so that I can have the motivation to stay disciplined and work on myself to make up for my physical inadequacies. And I swear on my uncircumcised cock that if you were to choose a mental illness to kick off your VTubing career, this one is the best right now. Because right now, it's still pretty niche for VTubers. And it has a huge untapped market. I swear on my un- Okay. Actually, you know what? There's actually one more disorder that might actually be better than body dysmorphia. So let's talk about number zero. Narcissistic Personality Disorder, NPD. Everyone is naturally attracted to confidence. Additionally, narcissism comes with insecurity, which means that just like body dysmorphia, you will have more motivation to put in work. A combination of charisma and motivation is exactly the two traits that make up a successful VTuber. Of course, being optimal is not the same as being comfortable. Success requires sacrifice. So hopefully you can now appreciate your favorite VTuber now. because at one point in their lives, your favorite VTuber had to willingly choose to take on a mental illness in order to become successful.